it's my first Milsim event. It's my first Airsoft event. Uh, anything. So, um, yeah, it should be fun. I got a, there's a good group of guys uh, I'm getting set up with. They're actually formatting what they're doing after a Special Forces ODA. So, uh, you know, they got the Bravo, they got Charlie's. They got the officers, they got the intelligence guys, uh, they got the team leader, squad leader, or they got the, t you know, team leader and team sergeant. Uh, and uh, so it's cool. I'm kind of doing like a, I'm kind of doing like an audition type thing. These guys are a pretty tight knit group. So the guys that I'm going to be running with, uh, you know, they kind of, they do this a lot and they're really into it. So uh, they're like, uh, I get to like kind of run with them as like a kind of a trial run or like a probationary basis. So. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a good time out in the, the high desert of California. I uh, really need the stuff in red. That's the minimum requirements. And then uh, and then all the stuff's black is more for comfort. So I'm going to head out today to uh, see if I can't go to REI and maybe get some last minute things. Uh, I got to get meals. I got to get... Uh, I'd like to get a sleeping pad and I don't, it's not going to rain. The weather is a forecast rain for uh, the event, but I'll get some, uh, maybe we'll get a hat, maybe. Yeah, the sleeping pad is the big thing. The sleeping pad would be, uh, would be really nice. Now, and I gotta, we gotta cart it all out there. It's just like a legit camping trip where you gotta cart it in and then you gotta cart it out, you know, just like a national park or something, you know, whatever you take in, you gotta take out, so it should be fun. Here I am at the AO where the game is going to take place. Oh, no trespass. <laughs> a little recon. I've never been here before. So, I mean, I'm fairly familiar with the high desert having grown up here for a good part of my early life. But uh, not very familiar with this part of Victorville. It's all just abandoned stuff. Maybe they, I don't know, I guess they must have rented from the city or the airport or something. We're kind of coming up to the northern part of the AO, I think Phantom Road. I'm on Nevada, this is Phantom Road coming up here. Should be fun. So it's 2 a.m. I'm uh, in Hesperia, California. We just finished our uh, brief, or like brief, uh, briefing practice when we get this briefing for everybody tomorrow legit like op order style con op style uh it's pretty cool it's pretty cool to see uh the level of detail of the planning that went into this uh into this thing so uh these guys got their stuff together and it's uh, pretty cool to be a part of it so uh, tomorrow we'll meet up and uh we'll head to the ao the area of operations for the game and um yeah, we'll take it from there Ready to go, Cam? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's going to be a good weekend. It's Friday morning. We're about to head out there, right? Absolutely. Yeah, with the whole team, get everything set up, and then we check in. Good to go. Good to go. Good to go. Oh. And then we're going to check everyone in, and then we're going to spin the dudes up. We're going to And then it's going to be nonstop until su su Sunday afternoon. Absolutely. Yeah, it doesn't stop. Once the game starts, it doesn't stop. So I hope you pack some bangs. <laughs> we are heading down to do check in. We are firmly entrenched area of operation for the game uh, so we are gonna go down with the cadre Cameron is on cadre with Nick and the other guys and uh, we're gonna check everybody in and uh, then everybody has to ruck in everybody has to march into the AL and then the full immersion experience begins the Milson West insurgency begins tonight we are here at the AO out in Victorville He's getting all dressed up. We're here at kind of at the, uh, it's like a command center that we're gonna have for like NATO forces. So, uh, kind of getting pr everything pre-staged and then tonight the event will officially start. <laughs> Just bring it in close enough, you can hear me. You guys hear me in the back there? Dudes in the back, bring it around yeah. over here, horseshoe. Yeah, come gentlemen. closer so I don't have to shout. You guys hear me back there? Everybody hear me all right? Uh, all right, cool. Okay, hey everybody, my name's Josh Warren. I'm one of the founders of Milson West. So I'm just here to talk to you guys real quick about the, the boundaries of the game, what's acceptable play, what's unacceptable play, right? What the hazards are, what we're gonna do in emergencies, how we're gonna keep ourselves safe. 
and then we're going to do a little audience participation piece just to make sure everybody gets it, gets what the spirit of the game is. Make sense to everybody? Yeah. Cool. So, uh, the first time that you get hit, how do you get revived? Tourniquet. Tourniquet. Who can give it to you? Anybody. Anybody except for who? Yourself, right? A buddy has to do it. Like, so as I just explained to all the civilians, please don't get salty when you get triple crossed, right? Because you're at a murder mystery dinner and like you're going to get triple crossed, right? You guys don't get salty, right? When like a real insurgency, right, your enemy is elusive and hiding behind civilians. Everybody understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. that, that is the game format that you've come to play. So shooting people is important, but your ability to influence people to actually be on your team, that's even more important. So that's what the money's for. Does that make sense? And the money is actually exchanged for BBs, for tourniquets, and for medic bottles by the civilians. In the back, right? Uh, what we're going to do in an emergency, so if everybody would just raise their right hand and repeat after me. I am a silly war nerd that plays silly war games. I am a silly war nerd that plays silly war games. I will not be a dick. I will not be a dick. I will have fun. I will have fun. I will not leave trash. I will not leave trash. I will not be trash. I will not be trash. I will not get mad when I get double crossed. I will not get mad when I get double crossed. I will not take myself too seriously. I will not take myself too seriously. I will be a team player. I will be a team player. I will listen to the cadre. I will listen to the cadre. I will not argue. I will not argue about who hit who. About who hit who. Or if it was too much. Or if it was too much. Or not enough. Or not enough. Or geez, I'm hit already. Or geez, I'm hit already. I'm not even arguing. I'm just saying. I'm not even arguing. I'm just saying. And when I get salty. When I get salty. I'll always remember. I'll always remember. That I'm at a fantastic party. And I'm at a fantastic party. With my fabulous friends. With my fabulous friends. In our marvelous costumes. In our marvelous costumes. And we're having an incredible time. And we're having an incredible time. All right. Thank you guys very much for your attention. I mean, you actually don't have to clap, clap for a safety brief. I know I'm really good at this. So, uh, we are uh, all done with check-in. Now it's time for the game to begin. So once we step off from here, we move into the uh, move into the town. We will be we will be playing. We will be susceptible to attacks. We are trying to make our way tonight to, to our base. Once we get to our base, we're gonna look to clean it up, organize it, get people on guard duty, get the road, sleep rotation going. That'll be uh, Cameron and everybody else's job while I watch and enjoy. <laughs> We're good in hood rat with our friends. I recognize that, bro. Okay, good cop. Second squad waiting on your call. I'm falling. Oh, that's the camera. Yeah, that's me. Is it on night mode? No, it's dark. Oh, I didn't bright. You. Under my knot, it's going like. <laughs> Can't look at you. Made it back to our home base, kind of in the northern end of the uh, of the area that we're at right now. We're getting the platoon all set up in uh, different accommodations. We've got to clean it all out, so that's going to take a little while tonight. Got to set up security, and I got to put my nods on. I got to put my night vision devices on because I can't see. Anything. Kind of lucky because I get to take a minute and have a little bit of food. Uh, a lot of guys are out there still pulling guard duty, cleaning up their places, cleaning up their positions. So it's a it's a rare treat when you get to eat. So I'm taking the chance right now. I'm taking a shot. Well, here we are, day two. I uh, just woke up a little bit. Everyone's starting to stir and move around. Eat some breakfast, drink some coffee. Uh, right now, we got some guys going into town. Uh, Nick and the uh, ODA fellas, they're going to go into town in civilian outfits and, uh, and go and meet with some people. Hopefully, I can get out there uh, and uh, check out. There, there's more civilians here camping out and running, running businesses and uh, making like a little economy in the space uh, than there are actual soldiers. Uh, on our side and on the Russian side. So uh, so today we're gonna do a few classes. Cameron's gonna take us through some stuff. 
There's some guys that are going to take us through uh, CQB and some, um, some uh, like, um, patrolling, <laughs> principles of patrolling and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, and uh, all those kinds of, like, uh, fun little basic drills, battle drills and things like that. And, uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So, And maybe we'll get attacked by the Russians. Who knows? I'm just happy to be here. I'm just happy to be here. Hey, let me get you up top. Up top. Up top. Hey, Roger, we got out four to the right of us. Out four to the right. Yeah. All right, hey, give me a base of fire, all right? We're going to maneuver. Shoot up there, shoot up there. Hey, right, ready? Ready on me, Dom? Give a base of fire. Start suppressing the enemy. Straight ahead. Alright, you ready? Yeah, they're coming off the back side of that uh, ravine. Get in there. Yeah. Where? Right into there. Hey, right are you there? That. Okay. Hey, you, upstairs! Upstairs. Upstairs. upstairs! Shoot over that way! Where that guy's standing? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Shoot him! Anyone's fucking. Back up, back up. Give me some room. Give me some room. Can we run to it? Walk around. Say again. Switching cars to the left or the right. Anyone you see. A lot of multi cams. They're talking. Hot On your left. I got caught. Right back. Is that ours? I don't know. Inside building or something? Yeah. Alright. I already want to push. Uh, Straight ahead. Yeah. Okay. Wall. Okay. I'm gonna set I'll on this wall. Back. Ready? Three, two, one. Yeah. Hit, hit, hit. Ah! Oh, come on, man. Once we get there, we consolidate, get water, we'll be fine. Okay. 
<laughs> After that, we're going to go ahead, follow his guys. These guys are going to be the first to the breach. They're going to enter the breach point through the police station. The police station is going to be heavily armed and fortified. That's confirmed, That's confirmed by UC assets no later or no less than 30 minutes ago. Okay? Those guys are going to go in initially. We expect them to get shot. We're the meat and potatoes of the assault. Once we get in the police station, we're going to go through. HP2 mission, so we need to be looking out for Dane. He does not know what Dane looks like. Here, right here. I got you. Uh, I'm not so. sure if we can get him right here. Okay. Alright, so now we know what Dane looks like. Again, this is an HP2 mission, so you guys need to be sure of what you're shooting at. PID is important here. If we get Dane, okay, I'm going to come up with a uh, thing we're going to call over the net as far as the brevity, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll relay that, okay? From the time we breach, we have five minutes time on target. So the second the first guy goes through that door, we have five minutes. That includes SSE. So Cameron's going to be running his wristwatch. The second we make entry, wristwatch is going to be going. He's going to be letting us know every, what the time, yep, every minute on the minute. What does that mean for us? The police station is relatively big. A lot of people in there. We need to be quick. We need to have surprise. We need to be violent. With that, Behind the pickup! Behind the right side pickup! The one on the right! He was standing before. He's still there, he's standing. It's uh, about 8 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. I got like maybe an hour or two, maybe maybe an hour of sleep last night. Um, it's the final day, Sunday. Uh, last night we, we did a raid to try to rescue the president of the nation who was who was kidnapped or yeah, and, uh, held for ransom. So we, we, we got him out of there. It was fun. Uh, now, now I'm ready to be done. <laughs> I'm ready to go back home to my bed and not shoot BBs. But, uh, we have one more thing we got to do. And that is like kind of the basic, I don't know if it's like a free for all or just a big old force on force. It's just a big old kind of capper battle to just, to just be done with. So, uh, What's on the phone? <laughs> oh my eye. Yeah. Oh. 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 Oh
got him. We got him. Yeah. Just here? Yeah. Either that black. The one on the right hand side? So, see the yellow and red uh, yeah. graffiti? Yeah. Two to the right, second floor. Oh, oh, I'm down. I got hit. Yeah. There's a guy straight across from us. Oh, shit, I guess I can't talk when I'm dead. Oh, I got him, I got him. Thanks. Stay low, stay low. Hold on, real world, real world. Uh, pop my knee. Uh, uh, what do you need? You tell me. Uh, I just need a minute. Uh, uh, you want me to call real world? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Now, let's just here. You got it. You got it here. What do you want to do? Step out. My knee, it doesn't do it often, but when it does, it kind of, something pops out of place, but I just got to let it relax. Okay, and, what's the best way to get you to a good spot? Uh, Should I lift you up and kind of, here, let's get your gun off. Medical issue, real world. Uh, no, just keep waving. No, I twisted. Oh, I twisted my knee, guys. Hey, I need someone to grab these guns. Here, let me. Real world, okay, no yeah. fire. No. Hold on, hold on. We have a medical issue. I won't stop, fire stop. you. Hold on, hold on. Let me help you up. Sit down. Sit down. Uh, let me help you. Hey, up. stop, Paul. Stop. Stop. I'm waving. He's waving to get them I'm not just standing by. Hold on. Just keep waving. Just gotta be careful. I can't straighten my. Yeah, I'm gonna get one side. Ready? Yep. Here. Nice and close. Uh, pop. Pop. <laughs> Careful. Take it easy. Hey, yeah. Hey. Let's set you up here. Okay. So we can get some gear off. Oh, way the hell away. Yeah. So let's get him down to a vehicle. Where are you from, guys? His knee, he blew his knee. Yeah. We got a cadre. It's I don't in all honesty it's a boo boo. But he needs to he needs to get some place to chill. He twists his knee good. Not medical water. Okay. Okay. They're all around. Try to just get him out of there. You alright, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He put him under. Oh, we put this way. Yeah. Back with us. Go. Is that going to be a little bit? Oh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, I'm still recording, so. Oh, are you down here? Are you alright? Sometimes when I try to get up at the end, I'm ready. Now that that's done, um, it's going to be tender. I was Well, that's it, folks. Uh, index, that's the end of the game for the weekend. Uh, good times. Lessons learned. I twisted my knee a little bit. Um, but uh, it's good, man. Good group of guys. Uh, we'll, we'll see you on the next one. We'll talk to Cam, we'll get some words, and then we'll sign off. Cameron is a dork.